Hello world, this is WhatsApp290, and today I'm going to be doing a review of PureVPN for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and they have it for, I, be think, I believe they have it for Linux, but I'm actually not, a, yeah, I think they do, but I'm also going to be, and they also have it for mobile platforms. PureVPN is a program that will enable you to protect your online data by encrypting it and, and hiding the IP address on it, and also it can... And also, uh, it can help you, you know, get around blocks, get around Wi-Fi blocks, and do a great many things. I use it pretty much 24/7 now, and I'm gonna be showing guys this program. So once, so if you open it, so the first time you open it, it's probably gonna ask you uh, what mode you want to use it in for streaming. If you want to stream content that can only be accessed within a certain country, you select the streaming option. If you want to use it to bypass, if, if your main intention is using, it, is using it to bypass internet filters, check this one. Uh, if you're most, if you're going to be using it mostly for for um, file sharing, then check this one. Uh, if you want to, if you want it for security and privacy, check this one. I'm going to be going into some of the features and features in the settings first. So once you've so once you've like uh, entered, like uh, signed up for your free account, if you sign up for a free account, those I believe those expire after like a week or so. But so, yeah, I could be wrong though. So once you've done that, once you have the app open, I'll have the link to do to get it from the description. It'll at, it'll come up with this, and then you can basically, and then you will come to this screen. Now what you're going to want, now I recommend checking this on automatic, for, for product fuel, I recommend checking automatic because it will try automatic, because certain VPN servers can work better with different product goals in my experience, whereas if you check automatic, it will automatically try to, it will automatically select the product fuel that works the best for that server. Now let's go and select a location for where I want, for where I want um, to connect to the server to. It, Pure VPN has extremely good connection speeds. I use, as I said, I use it 24/7 now, pretty much, and I've basically never had a, a connection speed issue at all. So, so yeah, you, they have countries all over the world. P.S. If you want to be, you, if you're try, if you're going to use this to torrent, then you're then you need to select one that that has the P2P label next to it. But yeah, I can search for countries like, here we go, United Kingdom, United States. I can search for cities, type in the name of a city I want to. Like I search for London and then there's London. You can also choose what region you want, you want to connect to. And basically what, what region you connect to that is where your IP address will appear to be coming from. To websites and for the most part your identity is com completely secure and you can basic this basically enables you to you to prevent your uh, web traffic what websites you're visiting who you're communicating with online from being logged by any ISP network administrator and, or anything and it also hides your IP address so if someone tries to get your IP address while you use while you're using the VPN They'll just, they won't be able to, and they'll just get the IP address of this VPN. So what you're going to want to, so let's, so once you've, before we, we click connect anywhere, let's go and check out some of the preferences. If you go to advanced options, click security, and you're going to want to make sure enable 256-bit encryption is enabled, because this will, that's what will prevent, uh, that, that's what will prevent your traffic from being snooped on. Switch to secure DNS, you should... You should definitely check this one. Hold on a second. On this one, definitely check... Uh, switch to secure DNS. And then, if you check this one, it will automatic that well. Then it will um, automatically warn you with the VPN comes disconnected within this amount of time that you select. 
I would recommend che checking Prevent IPv6, IPv6 Leap Protection and switch to security, next, to security NS and make sure this one's enabled. Now let's check out this option that says Internet Kill Switch. Uh, if you act, what the Internet Kill Switch will basically do is it will is it will go and interact with your firewall to cut off the, your to shut off your computer's internet connection if the VPN loses connection. Obviously, the advantage to this is that you know this will pretty effectively prevent any accidental leaking of your IP address if the VPN comes disconnected and when your apps goes and still connects to the internet, this will stop that from happening. So my so so yeah. That's what that that's what the act that's what the internet kill switch does. It basically the VPN disconnects, it goes and, and cuts off your internet connection on your computer so that um so that uh, none of the apps on your computer actually accidentally give out your IP address in case the VPN comes disconnected. So and to and once that's done, you're not gonna be able to access any shut so and once that's done, um if the VPN disconnects, you will need to come and uncheck this to be able to use the internet again. So keep that in mind. If you want certain apps to give out your IP, to give out your IP address when your actual IP address when you're connected to the VPN, but you only, basically, if you only want the VPN to hide the IP on and protect certain apps, then what you want to do is click activate split tunneling and click manage split tunneling and then it'll in, in fetch apps that will that will uh, per, that support split tunneling so if you select one of these apps basically what this will do is it will is it will exclude it from the VPN and even that and then even though your VPN you're connected to the VPN that app will still give out your real IP address but I want to turn that off, so yeah. To, to check and see if a new version is available, just click check for updates. And to view your, raise, your user profile information, just click here. And if for whatever reason you want to change what mode you had it on, whether it be, and it, sorry. Now let's check out app settings. Check redial automatically if connection drops. And, uh, and uh, check launch on system startup. However, because it requires administrative privileges, um, for me, it did not, this did not initially work for um, for a Windows 10. I have a video on my channel showing how I got around that. So check out that video. Um, if you click sync favorites, what this will do is it will basically sync your, sync your uh, favorite VPNs. I'll go into that. A little bit later across all the devices that you have pure vpn installed on and are signed into the same pure vpn account if you if you click auto connect after launch then what this will tell it to do is basically go and automatically connect to the vpn that you that you connect to the most often so once you start it up it'll automatic once you check this and after you start it, once after you check this once you start it up it will basically go and automatically connect to the last, either like the last VPN location that you uh, were connected to, and uh, or your most popular, your one that you connect to the most often. What you're going to want to do is go choose where you want to connect to. Oh, I chose the wrong one, but you know, doesn't really matter that much. And then. Uh, as you can see, this screen means that it's connected. I'm gonna, as you can see, this screen means that it's connected and you can see how much data it's pushing. You can see what your IP address appears to be here, what, what city you're connected to and um, how much time the VPN has been running for. So once you've, once you've done that, you can close this window and pure VPN will continue to run in the background. Once, um, and as you can see it by this little icon here. 
this icon here, when that icon's green, that means Pure VPN is on and working. When it's gray or yellow, when it's gray, that means it's turned off. And uh, when it's yellow, that means it's connecting. So as you can see, uh, the website loaded pretty fast. Didn't the v this VPN basically didn't even affect my connection speed at all. And this website is getting the IP VPN's IP address. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is what's up 2190. And I'm signing off. Have a nice day. P.S. Pure VPN also uh, make, creates a virtual network adapter, so you can so you can connect virtual machines through the virtual network adapter or after it creates. So that's about it. Um, if you hope you enjoyed, this is what's up 2190, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day. See you next video.